Hello everyone and welcome back to another Marvelous Video! Comic book fans have always been captivated by larger than life heroes and thrilling storylines, but one phenomenon that has sparked unique excitement is the creation of merged characters. These imaginative combinations of beloved heroes or villains blend their powers, personalities, and backstories into something entirely new. Not only do they bring fresh narratives, but they also allow readers to see their favorite heroes in ways they have never imagined, sparking endless debates and creative fan art. The fusion of characters like Superman and Captain America or Batman and Wolverine has left a lasting legacy in the world of comics, showing that sometimes, Two heroes are better than one. However, in today's video, we will be talking about not two, but three characters merged into one badass hero, Ghost Venom Hulk Rider. It was showcased in Marvel's The Circle of Four storyline, so without any further ado, let's begin exploring the events that led to this massive fusion. Before we go into our explanation, we have a very small request. If you like our content, please support us by subscribing to our channel. This is a small click for you, but for us, it means a lot. Thank you. Let's begin. The Struggle Against Blackheart The Circle of Four is a short event revolving around Blackheart, the son of Mephisto and Wrath on Earth. Featured in Daredevil issue 270, the site of numerous murders over the centuries in a New York location called Christ's Crown attracted the attention of Mephisto. He harnessed the residual dark energy from this place to bring forth his son, Blackheart. After working with his father and tormenting various heroes like the Daredevil and the Spider-Man, Blackheart's relationship with Mephisto was not that sound. He eventually banished from hell, following which he planned on overthrowing his father from the front. The story continues in the Circle of Four event, in which he teamed up with his partner and lover, the gargoyle Gary Oil, and planned on bringing Hell to Earth to execute his plans of overthrowing his father. To accomplish this, they needed to perform a ritual that required 100 human souls to sign over of their own volition. So the two of them disguised themselves as humans, opened a casino named Devil's Den, and executed their plans. It starts with Venom Volume 2, Issue 13, released on the 1st of February 2012. The issue begins with Flash yelling over the phone with his girlfriend, Betty. Things have been going well with Flash. Before this, he had succumbed to depression and alcoholism, and even left the army. He has currently become a fugitive to the government, and Captain America has tasked Red Hulk to find him and get the symbiote from him. The argument with Betty and the breakup was a necessity, as keeping her away was the only thing that Flash could do for her safety. The scene next shifts to the Devil's Den Casino, where two goons can be seen dragging inside a man named Gary Rax who owed money to the casino. They took him to the owner's office, where the owner, Mr. Delye, offered him a way to clear all his debts, and that was by selling his soul. It was evident that Mr. Delye was Blackheart, and this was a way of getting his 100 human souls for the ritual. Interestingly, there was one person in the casino, X-23, in search of a man who had stolen a vial of her blood before. With a final signature, Mr. Dale Yee and his girlfriend Miss Oil arrived at a construction site with a hidden satanic machine and began performing the ritual. Among the ingredients, there were the 100 human souls, a vial of the toxin symbiote, and the blood of a mortal who had traveled back and forth from hell, which is X-23. Ghost Rider Alejandro Jones, who was being trained by Johnny Blaze, heard the cries of the hundred damned souls and left immediately. She arrived at the construction site, and in order to stop the satanic machine, she began riding her bike in the opposite direction. Unfortunately, it helped the two demons open the portal, and to make matters worse, if Alejandro stopped, then Earth would be dragged into hell. So, back at Flash's residence, Red Hulk arrived, and the two began fighting. After destroying the place, as they took the fight to the streets, they noticed the ground on fire, and demons emerging from it. The two of them planned to stop their fight and work together. However, before Hell could consume the entire Earth, Johnny got the amulet he had taken from Hawkeye and placed it at the entrance of Hell and stopped it from spreading. Mr. Delye and Miss Oil soon transformed into Blackheart and a gargoyle and returned to his Black Tower to see what had stopped the spreading of Hell. The Confrontation of the Heroes and Their Death As Blackheart arrived at the Black Tower, he was confronted by Ghost Rider, X-23, Red Hulk, and Venom. However, Blackheart had a plan to take down the heroes 
and that was to use the Helion's Mirror Cauldron to create antithesis for the four of them. Soon emerged the Evangelist, the antithesis of Venom, and Cephalon for Red Hulk, X666 for X23, and Itchor, the antithesis to Ghost Rider. Soon, an intense battle began between the heroes and their antithesis. While Blackheart tasked his girlfriend to investigate what was stopping Hell from spreading on Earth, the antithesis tossed the heroes out of the Black Tower, and Ghost Rider planned on chasing Gary Oil with Itcher following her. Venom's antithesis was a pastor who used his Bible to rip the symbiote off by manipulating and instigating his inner turmoil, while X666, a cheerleader, took on X23. Red Hulk's antithesis, Encephalon, was a giant brain that had the ability to control his actions. X-23 began climbing up the Black Tower to face Blackheart, with X-666 following her. He also noticed that the wounds she received during the fight were no longer healing. Ghost Rider chasing Gary Oil was becoming a threat, and Blackheart ordered the antithesis to leave the rest of the heroes and stop Ghost Rider. Soon, Evangelist and Encephalon left Venom and Red Hulk and went after Ghost Rider. They threatened Red Hulk and Venom not to follow them, but they did so anyway. Just as the Ghost Rider was about to kill Gary Oil, X666 snuck behind and attacked her, following which Red Hulk stomped on X666. So the heroes decided that instead of fighting their own counterparts, they switch. The strategy seemed to work for a while before the Evangelist arrived and killed Red Hulk by punching a hole through his chest. Next was Ghost Rider, whose chest was opened by Encephalon, and to follow her was X-23, who was dropped into a pit of lava. Enraged, Venom strangled Evangelist to death, but Gary Oil snapped his neck and killed him as well. Thus, all four heroes were killed, and they soon found themselves in hell before Mephisto. The deal with Mephisto. After arriving in hell, Mephisto subjected the four heroes to emotional torment, manipulating their fears and insecurities. However, after a brief period of suffering, he presented them with a deal. If they agreed to assist him with something, when asked in the future, he would resurrect them and provide the chance to fight and defeat his rebellious son, Blackheart. Desperate for a way out and the opportunity to return to life, the heroes reluctantly agreed. True to his word, Mephisto revived them and sent them back to Earth. Upon their return, they found that the battle to prevent Hell's influence from spreading across Earth was still being waged. Doctor Strange and Diamond Hellstorm, the son of Satan, were leading the charge against the encroaching darkness. Meanwhile, the spirit of vengeance, having left Alejandra's lifeless body, was searching for Johnny Blaze, intending for him to become its next host. However, the demon Gary Oil intercepted the spirit, capturing it and bringing it to Blackheart. During this time, Blackheart manipulated Diamond Hellstorm, convincing him to support Hell's expansion on Earth and betraying his earlier stance. So, with Diamond's power on his side, Blackheart seemed unstoppable. In the midst of this chaos, the four resurrected heroes realized that they would need to work together, forming an uneasy alliance to stop the spread of Hell and thwart Blackheart's sinister ambitions. The creation of Ghost Venom Hulk Rider. As a part of the plan to work together and take down Blackheart, X-23 was tasked on a solo mission to infiltrate the site of the portal to Hell and make Johnny Blaze spin the machine in the opposite direction and destroy it. Meanwhile, Blackheart was preparing to bond with the Spirit of Vengeance before Red Hulk smashed through the window and attacked him. The fight was soon joined by Venom. The two were aware that they could not take down Blackheart, but it was all a distraction so that Alejandra could retrieve the Spirit of Vengeance for herself. However, Alejandra abandoned the plan and sought to shatter the vial containing the Spirit of Vengeance before Venom took it from her. The Venom symbiote seized control of Flash and wanted to proclaim the Spirit of Vengeance for himself before Blackheart tossed the Red Hulk at him, throwing them both out of the window. Even Alejandra was tossed out of the window, and as she looked down, she saw that both the Spirit of Vengeance and the Venom symbiote had bonded with Red Hulk, thus creating a new fused character whom we can call the Ghost Venom Hulk Rider. Flash, Alejandra, moved to the portal where X-23 seemed to be struggling against Gary Oil, while Red Hulk, with the Spirit of Vengeance and Venom symbiote, faced Blackheart. Red Hulk seemed to be overpowering Blackheart with his new powers and was about to defeat him. He used the pen and stare at Blackheart, which kind of backfired as it only made him stronger. He punched Red Hulk hard and tossed him distances away. As Blackheart began searching for Red Hulk, he found him before Helion's Mirror Cauldron. 
he created Black Heart's antithesis, an angel who produced a light so bright that surrounded him and consumed him. Meanwhile, at the portal, Flash and Alejandra managed to kill Gary Oil, allowing Johnny Blaze to ride in the opposite direction of the satanic machine. As he did, Hell began sinking. Red Hulk arrived and handed over the Spirit of Vengeance and Venom Symbiote to the respective hosts. Alejandra left, and as Captain America arrived with Captain America, Hank Pym, Beast, Doctor Strange, and Daemon to take Flash, Red Hulk vouched for him and requested that they give Flash a second chance. Captain America did listen, and Flash was not taken into custody. Blackheart and Gary Oil arrived in Hell before Mephisto and begged for forgiveness. The two were transformed into janitors of Mephisto's casino. Marvelous verdict. So we have finally come to the end of the video, and we hope you have liked our content. Although a short one, the story arc has a different fan base, mainly because of the badass heroes in it. If you go through the pages of the comic issues, the chaos and destruction that follow the fight between Blackheart and the ghost Venom Hulk Rider will surely blow your mind. Having a character like the Red Hulk fused with both the Venom symbiote and Spirit of Vengeance is certainly overwhelming, and we hope Marvel keeps on making such awesome fusions. Do let us know your views about the character in the comments below and tell us what other characters you think the two powerful entities can possess and operate. Thank you for watching the video till the end, and stay tuned for the next Marvelous video. And if you liked our content, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Have a good one, and be safe. Thanks, everyone.